appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Know yourself and know your enemy, and you will never be defeated. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. The general who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. The best victory is when the opponent surrenders of its own accord before there are any actual hostilities. Engage people with what they expected is what they are able to discern and confirms their projections. It settles them into predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment that which they cannot anticipate. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. To win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious. The greatest warriors are not warlike. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. A leader leads by example, not by force. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. The wise warrior avoids the battle. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. All warfare is based on deception. The greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. The skillful strategist defeats the enemy without doing battle. If your enemy is secure at all points, be prepared for him. If he is in superior strength, evade him. If your opponent is temperamental, Seek to irritate him, pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. Know your enemy as you know yourself, and victory is assured. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. The art of war teaches us to rely not on the likelihood of the enemy's not coming but on our readiness to receive him. The general who wins a battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The general who loses a battle makes but few calculations beforehand. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting.